Assalamu alaikum. KCSE 2017 paper 2. Topic ni quadratic equations lakini paka ukiifanya ndio utaona kwamba ni quadratic equations. Swali la 10 marks hili. Hii ndio ilikuwa question ya mwisho katika mtihani wa maths. Kama ulijaza vizuri utaondoka kwenye mtihani unasikia raha. Naam, question ya semaje. The length of a room is 3 meters shorter than 3 times its width. The height of the room is a quarter of its length. Kisha, the area of the floor is 60 meters squared. Calculate the dimensions of the room, 5 marks. Alafu pilu kambiwa, the floor room was tiled. Calculate the width of the border around the tiles, 4 marks zingine. Naam. Calculate the dimensions of the room. Kwa hivyo kwanza tuichore ili tuzidi kuifahamu. Na hii ni room iko na length na width na height. Kwa hivyo kitu cha kuchora sisi hapa ni cuboid. Length ya kwanza hizo tunganishe na hapa hivi. Cha tujikumbushe kuchora kidogo. Unganisha hapo, unganisha hapo, unganisha hapo. Haya, sasa tufuate masharti yao. Wamesema nini? The length of the room is 3 meters shorter than 3 times its width. Kwa hivyo width itakuwa vipi? Width ikiwa ni x, length itakuwa vipi? Length itakuwa 3 times shorter than 3 times the width. Kwa hivyo 3 times the width itakuwa 3 times x lakini ukaambua 3 meters shorter than hii 3x. Kwa hivyo 3x minus 3. Na je length na je nini height? Its height is equals to the height of the room is a quarter of its length. Kwa hivyo ni a quarter of the length. Kwanza acha tu solve huku juu kisha ndo tutakuja tutamaliza kwenye Lent. Na, tuangalie swali la takaje. Hapa chini umeambua width ni x na length ni 3x plus 3. Kitu gani cha muhimu tumeambiwa tena kwenye question tumeambua the area of the floor is 60 meters squared. Na waiona floor yake ni rectangle. Area of a rectangle is equals to width times length. Kwa hivyo width times length width ni x na length ni 3x minus 3 kisha tukaambua width times length is equals area na area ilikuwa 60 isha kuja quadratic equation sasa ni rahisi ku solve x times 3x ni 3x squared minus x times 3 ni 3x kisha tuna is equals to 60 irusha huko hiyo ngapi minus 60 is equals to zero. Tumeirusha ndio hiyo quadratic equation x squared x alafu hakuna x mwisho is equals to zero. Can we simplify this? Yes we can. By 3 by 3 by 3 itakuwa x squared minus 1x minus 20 is equals to zero. Kwa bahati nzuri hapa nishaona factors. Product ni 1 times 20. Kwa hivyo product is equals negative 20. Sum is equals negative 1 na factors ni ngapi? 4 times 5. Gani negative? Negative 5. Kwa sabu 4 minus 5 ndo negative 1. Kwa hivyo itakuwa x squared plus 4x minus 5x minus 20 is equals 0. Hapa na hapa common factor ni x into x plus 4 minus 5 into x plus 4 is equals to 0. Kwa hivyo x minus 5 ama x plus 4. x minus 5 or x plus 4 is equals to 0 bila shaka hii x minus 5 ndio itakuwa jibu itakuwa x is equals to 5 meters kwa sababu x plus 4 is 0 ukirusha itakuwa negative 4 na width haiwezi kawa negative kwa hivyo x is equals to 5 meters hii ndio width je length itakuwa ngapi tuje huku tuziandike width is equals to 5 meters Alafu length is equals to 3x minus 3. Kwa hivyo 3 times 5 ni 
na 15 minus 3 utapata ni 12 meters. Hebu tuhakikishe area of the floor ilikuwa 60, 12 times 5 ni 60. Hii ndio uzuri wa maths. Uwezo ukafanya ukajitilia we mwenyewe tiki tayari wajua una 5 marks hapo. Bado tu height. Height is a quarter of the length. Kwa hivyo a quarter of 12, 1 over 4 times 12 ta simplify by 4 and by 4, 3. Height itakuwa 3 meters. Na kama umefanya architecture ama civil engineering utajua hii 3 meters ndio kawaida standard size ya room za huko town. Naam, tuendelee. The floor of the room was tiled. Ilichukuliwa floor hivi. Tujikumbushe floor dimensions zake zilikuwa ngapi by ngapi? Ilikuwa width ni 5 meters na huku chini length ni ngapi? 12 meters. The floor of the room was tiled leaving a border border itakuwa kwa wapi wachora hapa ndani ndio ilitiwa tiles ona hapa hapa ndio ilitiwa tiles kwa hivyo hapa ilitiwa tiles ikabaki border border iko hapa kwa nje leaving a border of width y meters all around kwa hivyo hapa paka hapa ni ngapi y na hapa paka hapa pia ni y Yamanisha hii width imebaki ngapi? Width nzima ilikuwa 5, nimekula y chini na y juu, hapa itakuwa 5 minus 2y. Kwa hivyo width is equals to 5 minus 2y. Na je length tuangalie huku pia kuna a border of y na hapa pia kuna a border of y. Kwa hivyo length nzima ilikuwa 12, nimekula huku y na huku y itabaki length vipi? 12 minus y ya huko na y ya huko itakuwa 12 minus 2y. Hindo width hindo length. If the area of the border was 1.69. Area ya hii border ya huko nje ni 1.69. Ya maanisha hii ya ndani itakuwa ngapi? Wakumbuka area nzima ilikuwa 12 times 5 ni 60. Hapa ndani itakuwa ngapi? Area of carpet ama tiles itakuwa ni ngapi? Area of tiles itakuwa ni 16 ndo nzima minus area ya border ni 1.69 tukamilisha hiyo 60 minus 1.69 utapata 58.31 hiyo ndio area na area ni vipi width times length kwa hivyo hebu tuifanye hiyo 5 minus 2y ndo width alafu length ni 12 minus 2y na tuajua area is equals to 58.31 quadratic equation nyingine hiyo tufungue haraka haraka 5 times 12 ni 60 alafu minus 5 times 2y ni 10y kisha minus 2 times 12 ni minus 24y kisha negative 2 na negative 2 itakuwa plus 4y squared kisha is equals to 58.31 Collect like terms tengeza quadratic equations utaanza na 4y squared. Kwa hivyo 4y squared kisha na daiwa 10 na daiwa 24 nitadaiwa 34y kisha ona hii 60. Na hii 58.31 na zikusanya vipi? 58.31 na irusha huko 60 minus 58.31 ilikuwa nishaona ni 1.69. Kwa hivyo plus 1.69 is equals to 0. Solve for y tumia quadratic formula hapo y is equals to Negative B. B ni negative 34. Kwa hivyo tabadilika positive 34. Hapa negative negative 34 ni positive. Kwa hivyo negative B plus or minus square root of B squared ambayo ni 34 squared minus 4 times A kwa hapi A ni hapa 4 alafu times C ni ngapi 1.69 kisha all over 2 Eh. Tukamilisha haraka haraka hiyo. 4 times 4 times 1.69, 4 times 4 times 1.69 is equals 27.04, alafu 34 squared minus hiyo answer. Tutapata 1128.96. Kisha tuwafanya square root. Kwa hivyo square root of the answer utapata 33.6. Ambayo itatuambia nini? y is equals to 34 plus or minus 33.6
33.6 divided by 2 times 4 ni 8. Tukamilishe tuone. 34 plus 33.6. 34 plus 33.6. Utapata 67.6. Alafu divided by 8. Utapata 8.45. Y is equals to 8.45 meters. Or, tujaribu ansa ya pili. 34 minus 33.6. 34 minus 33.6 is equal 0 0.4. Answer divided by A to the part 0 0.05. 0 0.05 meters. Hebu tuambie ni hii y ni 8.45 ama ni 0 0.5. Bila shaka haiezi kwa 8 kwa sabu gani hii nzima ilikuwa 5. Itakuwa je y iwe 8. Kwa hivyo hii answer ya 8.45 tutaifanya nini? Tuta ignore tutatumia hii 0.05 calculate the width of the border tutasema width of border is equals to ilikuwa ni 5 minus 2y kwa hivyo itakuwa 5 minus 2 times y width of border ni 5 minus 2y itakuwa 5 minus 2 times 0 0.05 2 times 0 0.05 ni 0 0.1 5 minus 0 0.1 Utapata 4.9 meters. Kitaka kwa kikisha, njoo hapo jaribu. The dimensions of the flow area covered by the tiles. Hii hapo. Siri kwa tutaka tu width of the border. Kwa hivyo 4.9 atuitaji. Width of the border hii hapo. 0.05 meters. Hii ya uku chini hatuitaji. Tuitaji hapa kwenye dimensions. Dimensions itakuwa vipi? Hizi hapa. Huku ni 5 minus 2y. Na huko ni 12 minus 2y. Kwa hivu ukisubstitute y is equal to 0 0.05. Itakuwa 5 minus 2 times 0 0.05. Ambo utapata 4.9. Kwa hivu hii hapa width is equal to 4.9 meters. Na length of the flow area itakuwa 12 minus 2y. Ambo itakuwa ni 12 minus 0 0.05. 0.5 times 2. Boita kwa 11.9. 11.9 meters. If you want to confirm your answer, unafanya nini? 11.9 times 4.9. 11.9. Alafu times 4.9. Unapata ukweli 58.31. Simu wakumbuka area of the tiles. Ilikuwa ni ngapi? Ilikuwa ni area of the tiles. Ilikuwa 58.31. Ndoraha ya isabu ya unafanya, paka unakonfamu mwenyewe 10 marks hizo. Asantum, quadratic equations ikuwa nyingi kwa medfamilia, fanya bidi, uzizoe. Asantum.